Hey everyone, it's Brittany Barlow here and Miss Kenley Barlow. And we are getting almost to the end of this deployment and we're getting so excited that Jason's going to be home soon and the girls going to see their dad again. And we cannot wait. But Kenley is seven months old now and she's getting so big. She's standing up. She pulls herself up on the end of the couch and stands up now and like kind of walks around it. And she's crawling like no other. She says, Mama, Dad, Dad, num num. Uh, she says a few words and it's crazy how fast they grow. I know my husband can't wait to get home to um, to see her walk and, and do all that for the first time. So hopefully she'll hold off on doing that for um, the time being before it ends. So um, I know it's got to be so hard on the people overseas who miss out on so much stuff with their kids and watching them grow. And um, I don't know how they do it because it's got to be so hard being away from these little boogers and um, seeing them do stuff for the first time because it's so amazing to watch. And um, I try to record those things so he can see them, huh? Like when you said mama the first time. Yeah. But um, today I just wanted to talk about a program that's offered to military families um, because it's just for lower income families and it's called WIC. It's for women, infant, and children. And basically what it is, if your husband is an E5 and lower and you are a stay-at-home mother or you don't make very much, you are most likely probably going to qualify. And all they do is include your basic pay to see if you qualify. And um, you get vouchers for food. And it's like, you know, the main food ingredients you see on a food pyramid, like bread, eggs, cheese, milk, fruits and vegetables, beans, stuff like that. That's what you are going to get with it. And the larger your family is, the more and more it's going to really help out. And you're going to see a um, huge different difference in it really helping out your family and on their grocery bill and um, at the times we've used it it's been so great and um, it's fairly simple to do you just take in your LES and your husband's LES and your like military ID and your uh, driver's license or um, something that shows your address where you live like a utility bill and stuff like that and um, like <laughs> When you have a newborn baby, you take in their birth certificate, or if you don't have it at the time, you take in, like, their cradle card that they put on, you know, on the thing when they're first born that they put them in. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to do. The only time it takes the longest is when you're actually in the checkout. That takes a while because they have to do it all by hand and adding the things up and the price and stuff, and then they stick it underneath the counter because, um, they have to keep track of all that stuff. So that's the part that takes the longest is actually checking out. Um, but you can do like the vouchers, you know, one one every few days or like one over that course of that month, just getting it when you actually need it because they do come apart and there's um, different things on each vouchers. So um, you can do them spread out or you can get them all at once, um, just depending on what you want to do. And you will qualify as long as you are pregnant. Um, you, um, if you qualify for, you know, the income wise, then you need to be pregnant or breastfeeding or have ch children under the age of five. Um, they can be your children. They can be foster children. Um, um, single fathers can get it if they have children under the age of five and they, um, meet the qualifications for it. Um, they'll take care of you if you're breastfeeding your child. Um, they'll do it for a year. They'll give you vouchers. Um, if you're not breastfeeding, they'll take care of you and your child for, um, they'll take care of you for, till your child's six months old. And then they'll take care of your child till they're five. So, um, just every three months you go back in and get new vouchers. And then you have to, um, see if you're qualified every few months to make sure you can keep getting it. So, um... Yeah, and, you know, what's the worst that can happen if you go in there? Um, they say you can't get it because you make too much, so it's really um, worth trying to see. You can even look online to see if you could qualify. 
Um, just look on there and see where your nearest WIC office is. On those military installations, they usually have them on base. Like at my, our first duty station, they had it at the Naval Hospital. And at our second one, um, they have it on base housing. So um, just look into that and see if you qualify because it's definitely worth it and really does help out um, when you don't make a lot of money. So um, I just want to tell you guys about that this week and let you know things that are offered for us as military families because things like that really do help out a lot. So uh, I'll see you guys next week and thank you for watching. See you later.